Welcome back to Play It Right TV. This is Diane Castillejo with the Dean Kinito Henson. We're so excited, Kinito, for our guest tonight because this Filipino sports superstar has not been in the Philippines for so long. He's a world champion and he's fresh from Japan where he has been training for the last couple of years. Let's welcome to our show, Carlos Caloy Yulo. Hi, Caloy. Woo, 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 woo. Yay. And of course, with him, Coach Munehiro Kugimiya. Coach Mune, and the beauty behind the success of this team, none other than the head of the Gymnastics Federation of the Philippines, Cynthia Carion. Hola, oh, oh. hello. Wow. <laughs> well, Kinito, Dino Caloy just arrived yesterday. He hasn't seen his family in two years. Straight to training ngayon, apat na oras. Unang una, Caloy, kumusta ang pagkikita mo with your family? Kagabi. Masaya naman po. Na, nakakabagod lang kasi um, ang haba po eh, ng biyay din. Eh. Um, madami po yung kaming pinag-asama. Pero masaya naman po overall. Well, Caloy, dalawang Pasko na. Wala ka dito sa atin. Dalawang Pasko, dalawang New Year's. So marami siguro kayong napag-usapan ng pamilya a lot of uh, hugging and a lot of kissing. Um, anong sabi ng mga kapatid mo, magulang mo sa iyo? The first thing nung, pag- nung pagkita mo sa kanila sa hotel. Sa ano po kami nakita sa um, airport po kami nakita ng mama ko. Ah, okay. Um, na-miss kita. Ganun po yung... <laughs> ah. And hinag po ako sa... Okay. Nandun rin yung brother mo, si El. Yung mga kapatid ko pa sa bahay ko na po nakita sila. Okay. So ikaw naman, Kaloy, how, did you, how do you feel na parang ang tagal-tagal mo na dito na hindi makauwi sa Pilipinas? I know you've been asking to come home, but and finally, ano yung pakiramdam mo? Ano yung bago ka ba? Hindi <laughs> naman po, parang kung ano po yung, kung ano pong pumunta ako dun. Ganun din po yung pagbalik ko. Um, di naman po ako nagbago. Namiss ko po talaga sila ng sobra. Hmm. Okay, pag-usapan na ngayon natin ang gymnastics. Yes. Um, um, nakakuha ka ng gold sa vault. Nakakuha ka ng uh, silver sa P-bars. Um, and ang bali-balita galing kay uh, Gymnastics Association of the Philippines President Cynthia Carion is that you're going to go for the all-around title sa darating na Olympics 2024 sa Paris. That means pommel horse, horizontal bar, rings, yun, pag-aaralan mo lahat yun. Handa ka ba? Is that the plan that you're going to go for the all-around? Kaloy? Um, plano naman po talaga yun since 2016 po. Eh, na um, hindi lang po dalawang events yung kaya. Like, nagpa-practice naman po talaga ako ng six events. Pero mm. nag-add po ako this time para nga po sa um, goal ko na makuha po yung um, individual all around po sa um, 2024 po. Nung last World Championships, Kaloy, nagulat ka ba sa performance mo? Hindi ka nakakuha ng uh, podium finish sa floor, pero nakakuha ka ng gold sa vault, silver sa P-bars. Nagulat ka ba sa outcome ng uh, championships? Um, sa P-bar po, po, pero dun po sa dalawa, like, may um, kampanti po ako na kaya ako yun. Mm, yeah, fantastic. After the Olympics, Kaloy, no, medyo short time lang yung World Championships. Uh, and sabi mo, you gained so much experience sa Olympics na siguro nagamit mo yung mas kalma ka na sa World Championship that you were able to win, win uh, two medals sa World Championships. Ano yung sa palagay mo ang uh, na-improve sa'yo? between the Olympics at the World Championships? Siguro po yung mental po eh. Kapag magpa-practice po and sasabak po ng competition. So ano yung, ano yung bagong uh, frame of mind mo? Ano yung nagbago sa pag-iisip mo? Um, kaka-isip ko po sa uh, pagkakamali kong yun. Um, palagi ko po siya nire-review kasi Tinatata ko po talaga sa utak ko na ayoko yung 
ayaw ko na mangyari yung ganong pagkakamali. Mm. Yeah. Let's ask Coach Mune. Coach Mune, first of all, congratulations. Congrats. Gold, um, sa vault, tapos silver, sa parallel bars. Um, nung sa Tokyo Olympics, nag-usap-usap tayo, we talked to you, Coach Mune, and you said you were going to get revenge in the World Championships, and you did it. Um, looking forward to the Southeast Asian Games, Asian Games, up to the Olympics, what do you think Kaloy should be doing as he progresses so that by the time Paris comes around, the all-around title could be there for him? Coach? Uh, just like, yeah, he said, <laughs> uh, just training every day. <laughs> work just, hard, work hard. <laughs> just training every day. Speaking about training, how was your first training session here in the Philippines, Coach Mune? You're unbelievable. You just arrived today, four hours of training. How was it? And how is the new gym? Yeah, that's good. Everything is uh, getting well. I have to ask uh, Cynthia Carrion, uh, our president, tell us about this new gym. And uh, was that where Kaloy trained today? Is it now what? fully opened? Tell us about it. I'm so excited. I know it's 2,000 square meters. I know it's intramuros. And you've got a lounge there. You've got a viewing room. Everything perfect with all the equipment. Tell us. Tell us. We're so excited. Oh, you have to just come. You have to come <laughs> okay. on the March 5 and see for yourself. Uh -huh. You can see Kaloy personally and Coach Mooney and in Jumbai, it's his birthday, or by the way, uh, the therapist's birthday on the 4th. Oh, perfect. We are going to us, um, I know it was it was difficult, um, Cynthia, to get this gymnastic center completed. It took a while. There were problems with the leaks. And uh, initially, that was a warehouse. How did yes. you... So how did you find it? Because that took a lot of doing. First, you had to find the location, and then you had to renovate, and then you had to fix the roof. Um, that was a lot, of, a lot of challenges. It's one challenge after another. Continuous okay. challenge. I, I don't know. My hair is all white already. You really have <laughs> been horrible. I mean, you know. So I, when I see this done like this, I am so amazed. There's always, every day, there was a problem that I had to face. Financially, or, or, or a leak, or this, or that, or there's always. And then also the athletes, the, the, the intramuros is too far away. So they, they have no transportation coming and going. So we had to get condos nearby, all of that. And then we need to get a bed and their condition. Every time, it's really one after the other. But and now it's all done. And I'm so happy that it's all done and we can open on March 5. And I'm glad that both of them are here to open up my our gym. Our gym. Okay. Congratulations. Congratulations. Is there, is there truth to the rumor that Mr. Watanabe is coming over? Yes, he's coming over. He's oh, coming, my gosh. He's, in fact, he's arriving on the... He was supposed to arrive on the 4th. But because of this Ukraine, Ukraine, he's very much involved in that. Japan, whether to join or something. He said he's arriving on the 5th itself at 10 o'clock in the morning, and then he'll come straight here to the gym. Well, that's uh, I think that's a great thing for the president of the International Gymnastics yes. Federation coming all the way to the Philippines. I think that says uh, a lot. Yeah, it says a lot about um, about his uh, recognition of Kaloy's achievement and also yes. the respect that he has for your organization, Cynthia. For yes. uh, Diane, Mr. Watanabe is uh, not only the head of uh, gymnastics all over the world, but he was in charge of boxing in the last Tokyo Olympics too. Plus, he's also in the IOC. Yes, he's so, a member of the IOC. Yeah. Kaloy, matanung ka. So, uh, you have a brand new gym there. It's inspired. It's there because of you. So, ano yung masasabi mo sa, sa bagong gym? Comfortable ka ba? Are you happy with it? And do you think you can train there for the for upcoming competitions? Chinek ko lang po ngayon kung um, ano po yung mga kaya ko gawin. Well, yung floor naman ako, yung naman po siya. Um, 
Yung dun po sa ano, bandang dulo po, medyo mainit po. <laughs> Ang hirap po huminga. Ayun lang po yung... Pero okay naman po po yun. Pero I'm sure something like that can be easily adjusted with some air conditioning uh, and making sure that there is good ventilation. Um, Kaloy kanina, four hours ka nag-practice. Um, anong, anong ang mga aparatos na ginamit mo dun sa practice mo? Lahat ba? Yung anim? Yung, yung bolt lang po yung hindi ko nag up today kasi naabusan na po ng oras. And mag-training pa po kasi yung mga juniors. Eh. Kaya um, nat- tinapos ko po agad na Mm. Um, Cynthia, how many athletes do we have in our pool? Um, I remember the last time we spoke, you said we had 31 athletes in our pool. Has that number grown or has it decreased? Uh, yeah, it, it, it's grown, but, but we cannot add on because uh, he is seeing only one and he has to be the highest a certain amount. Even in our SEA Games, I wanted to add reserves, at least three more reserves, and they do not, they do not allow it. You know, mm-hmm. this is the 25 in the beginning. We wanted to make 28 research for MAG, WAG, and RG. But then okay. uh, said, no. So, what we're doing, we have to find out some money to bring these three research with us. Mm, so, you'll be bringing 28. But 28. the national pool is 31, or yeah, is it now 28? 31, 31 still. Yes, yes. It's okay. still and you'll be bringing 28 to the Sea Games. Wow, how exciting! So, Kaloy confirmed the lalaban ka sa Southeast Asian Games? Oh, lalaban. Lalaban. Right. And uh, what is your, ano yung goal mo para sa SEA Games na to? Sa Vietnam? Lahat. Um, Siyempre po yung um, ma-perform ko po yung best of. Mm-mm. And then he's also going to compete in the Asian Games, Kaloy? Yeah. Asian Games po talaga yung minamata ko po ngayon kasi last time po yeah. um, hindi po maganda yung naging result Right, I remember So ngayon, habol mo yung gold medal sa Asian Games Coach Mo, Can I do a quick question to Coach Mune for the for the Asian Games um, How do you size the chances of Kaloy now in the Asian Games, and what are your expectations from him there? Yes, he can get gold. Gold in uh, which 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 events? The yeah. vault, of course. Not say he has a chance for three events. No? He'll get gold. So three golds. But gold, for the sea games, bar. sea games, um, seven. Sea game yeah. seven. Six, six in the individual apparatus and then the all around. Yeah, I don't know what I got. Where yes. will you be training for the Sea Games, Coach Mune? Still in Japan? Oppo. Go back to Japan. Oppo. Oh. Okay. And then Vietnam straight and then China. Uh, Cynthia, if you're back there, I wanted to follow up on the on the gym and your athletes. So, your dream has always been to put your athletes together to be able to train so that Koloi will not just compete alone, but there will be uh, hopefully a men's team and a women's team. So, who will be training in, the, in your new gymnastics center there? Just the elite, no developmental athletes? No, we have a lot of developmental. The developmental is very important because for the 2028 um, LA Olympics, I don't want only Kaloy to be there. Coach Mooney wants a whole team to go to the 2028 Olympics. Because every time there's, you know, every country, there's three or four in every country. And every time they say Philippines, only one person. Now we are going to want to have a team. So we have uh, good young kids coming that are very, very, you know, I thought, I, I, Kaloy, I, Coach Mooney will check them tomorrow. And mm. I when you say full team, Cynthia, exactly how many athletes will comprise a full team in 2028? What is your dream? Uh, four. Uh, I'm not of you. Huh? I'm not of you. A, a team. A team. How many? Huh? Five or six. No, four. four and, and, and 
always a reserve. And, and mm. So that they can compete in the team event of gymnastics because usually it's just Kaloy who competes in the individual yes. company. Kaloy, uh, masaya ka ba kung makakaroon ka ng more guys to compete with you? And I, I hear yung kapatid mo, si Eldrew, ay target niyong makasama sa Olympics. Kamusta na siya? Um, siguro po. Uh, okay naman po. Um, <laughs> Gusto ko po siyempre maka mag-compete ng may may teammates po. Hindi lang po yung puro ako. Um, <laughs> siyempre, oh. Gusto ko din po na may experience yung um, competition ng hindi lang po ako yung mag-isa. Kasi pag mag-isa po, like, ako, kaya ko po makatrol yung sarili ko. Eh. Pero yung team po, pag nagkamali po yung isa, like, mahirap na po i-cover eh. So, ibang game po yung team eh, sa individual po eh. So, I think something like that is very, very important. Yung team. Yeah. Yung team no? Pero si Eldrew, sa tingin mo, um, ilang taon na ba si Eldrew ngayon? He's about uh, 15? Um, 12, no? 14 po. 14. Ah, 14. Okay, 14. So, um, ano man specialty niya? Um, anong event? Um, Flory din. Lahat naman po kasi ng bata dito sa Pinas po, magaling sa tumbling po eh. Mm. Lahat po na nag start po ah, like magagaling po sa, kaya yung floor po siguro yung, um, mm. so, Alam ko, doon ka nag-umpisa, Kaloy, doon ka nag-umpisa, di ba? Nagtatumbling ka, tapos yung lolo mo, di na lang ka sa Rizal Memorial. Kasi sabi niya, ito, magaling mag-tumbling. <laughs> Biruin mo. Now, you're a two-time world champion. And uh, we're all hoping that uh, in the coming Olympics, dun, dun na, he is now a gold medal. Also, not yeah. only because he likes to tumble, tumble, because he was very passionate. He was yeah. very dedicated in, in what he was doing. That's why I noticed him because of his dedication, always practicing, practicing, wanting to be the best, you know? And that, when you see an athlete like that, you have to keep that. He's a keeper. Yeah. But Cynthia, we understand that uh, there were uh, recent appointments in the International Gymnastics Federation. And you play a key yeah. role. You play a key role. Tell us about your responsibilities now. Not only in, well, Asia. First, let's start with Asia because I know you have an important role there. But also in the international. I hear that uh, Coach... Uh, uh, rather, President Watanabe does not decide unless he consults you first. Is that true? <laughs> yeah. we, we have to admit, we have to uh, approve. Like now, I just received all the mag, all the um, disciplines of all the, the gymnastics disciplines. And we, as a council member, I have to read them all and I have to approve or disapprove what they, the new rules that they're putting up. So... Uh, it's not only me. We're about each, each, each. Asia has five, Europe has five, um, and Africa. We're united, and we have to really agree. And then he gets the total and see if it's approved or not, or not approved. But we play a big role, you know, by approving or disapproving. Ah, that's, we're very excited and of course congratulations uh, Cynthia for all the honor that you have given to the country and uh, Diane maybe before we wrap this up uh, a final question from you to uh, for Kaloy and also for Chris. I wanted to ask um, Kaloy kasi sabi nga ni Cynthia na napansin ka when you were young because yung passion mo na gusto gusto mo mag train very dedicated ka so you know we're talking ngayon pinag-uusapan natin yung of course, the SEA Games and the Asian Games this year, 2024, is two years away. And then 2028. So, ang tagal pa nun, six years. Yung, yung, how do you feel about yung patuloy na kailangan mong gawin na four or five hours a day training na ilang taon pa? Are you ready for that? <laughs> Always been ready naman. Um... Paano po ba? Saglit lang po yun. Kung, i, kung um, i-breakdown niya po, super saglit lang ng six years. Sobrang dali po ng panahon ngayon. So fast po ng time. 
Like, mm. mag-Olympics na po agad by 2024. Kapag bin-rakedown niyo po yung araw-araw, super saglit lang po yun. Kaya, mm. ready naman po ako kahit, ano, ikam, kahit araw-araw pa po yung five hours. Wala po. It's um, normal na din naman po na nagpa-practice ako. Fantastic! Gawin yeah. Bilib kami sa'yo kasi ang hirap-hirap ng gymnastics. It requires so much dedication. Talagang masakit ang training. And lalo na yung mental toughness na kailangan. Well, Cynthia and Kaloy. Uh, worries me a lot. Is, is, what? Uh, I was wondering um, about, you know, uh, the, 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 um, like, yeah, you, you know, he, he does have to continue because it goes... He will, he will hit the peak. He, in fact, he will be in his peak when he's training. And mm-hmm. young ones are coming up. But, you know, I feel Kalo is strong. Mm-hmm. He's be strong, you know. Because, and I, the only thing I worry about Kalo is, is that, you know how the, the, the attitude of Kalo, and it, you, do you see what Heidelin went through? When yeah. She went through Everybody wants to see her. She's in the movie. She's there. She's the, I wonder if Kaloy would be able to handle that. Yes. <laughs> uh, uproar of the Filipinos. You know, they want to talk to you all the time and put you in the... Every time I walk, I see Heidelin Dias. <laughs> you know? I wonder well, how he would take that. I wonder that's the only worry I have about Kaloy. It I will happen. To... I think it will happen, pero kaya ni Kaloy yan. Kaya ni Kaloy yan. Gold medal muna, tapos Pag-isipan natin yung ano, kung ano na yung gold medal. Yes. Bago yung mga ganun ba. Okay. Pag dumating po yung panahon na yan, may time naman po para mag, ano eh, mag, may, mag ganun po eh. Sa ngayon po, like, practice po talaga. Pinaka-importante po. Kaloy, well, that's good, and I'm uh, so excited to see you um, actually practice. Uh, take care of your body. I know that you brought your physio with you, which is so important. And then Cynthia, she he now has a mental coach also. Yeah. Finally. Yes. Thank you for me. She talked a little bit. Meron kang gustong sabihin, Kaloy, sa pagbabalik mo dito sa Pilipinas, sa mga uh, fans mo. Ang unang ano po, gusto ko lang pong magpasalamat sa Panginoon. Um, nakarating po kami dito ng maayos. Papasalamat po kay Mang Cynthia. Nice. Super, super, super. Pinili ka po talaga na makauwi po kami. Yeah, I was um, fighting with you. Opo, coach, coach mo na. Ayaw po kasi din na muwi ni Coach mo na dahil po sa COVID. Wow. So, ni Mang Cynthia talaga, pinili po na pinili. <laughs> Pagpalit ka ba sa Japan? Magka-quarantine ka? Um, okay. Hindi na po. Dahil po yung kay Mang Cynthia. <laughs> okay, okay. Very good, very good. Yeah, just before you go, I'm interested. Who is uh, Kaloy's mental coach now? Who is she or he? She's, she's from UP. Her name is Marisa Quinto. Okay. She's very, very good. So she'll be working with Kaloy from here yes. on. I don't know. Ah, but with them, What about a nutritionist? Were you able to already na get one or not yet? No, they they will take care of their own nutrition. They, they said Kaloy and Coach Mooney oh, and you, okay. they know about nutrition, so they will take care of their own nutrition. Na ganon po kami na gistadi din po kami sa nutrition po namin. Ah, lalo na po sa akin, like. Um, si Coach Muni po yung nagluluto nga po para sa akin. Wow. He showed me their food. I said, wow, yummy, yummy. Like, so, mas malakas ka ngayon, Kaloy. Mas malakas. Uh, mas malakas. And then, uh, I'm going to give him prodantum. Prodantum, that, that medicine. <laughs> okay. Vitamins. Anong All favorite right. pagkain mo? Kaloy, anong kinakain mo? Anong favorite na niluluto ni Coach Muni sa'yo? Wala po ang favorite, basta may pagkain po, kakain po ako. <laughs> right, ano? Kasi, alam mo, yung okay. katawan ng gymnast, of course, is very talagang impressive, di ba? Yung physique ng isang gymnast. Uh, 
for a lot of the Filipinos, Kinito, I remember when Kaloy was here, even when they watch his video, talagang sobrang bilib sa katawan, yung arms, shoulders, yung abs, and all that. So, you mean to say after yung five hours training mo, yung kain mo dyan, uh, kahit ano, basta Japanese food? Ah, uh, hindi na, ngayon po Filipino food po, wala lang po ang masyadong price na kinakain kasi ayoko po uh, <laughs> Wala nga po akong kinain kaninang breakfast po and hindi po ako nag-lunch kasi um, um, Bakit? <laughs> Ewan ko din po. Ang dami ko po kasi kinain um, chicken kagabi. So, <laughs> my, last question, right. my last question is about your studies. Kaloy, kumusta naman ang pag-aaral mo? Kailan ka mag-graduate? At anong degree ang makukuha mo? Um, gagraduate na po ako next Next um, week po. <laughs> ah, next, next week? week. Wow! Okay. Ano yung degree mo? Um, di, may isa pa po akong... Um, itutuloy ka po po yung pag-aaral ko para maka-get po okay. ng bachelor degree po. Ah, okay. So, okay, hindi so po po nag-aaral ko. Hanggang... Um, 2024 pa po yung school ko. Pero mag-graduate mm. na po ako sa course ko ngayon kasi two years course lang po siya. Mm, two year course. <laughs> ah, okay. In Japanese, di ba? Nag-aaral ka in Japanese. Yes, he made it into three years. Did you hear him? <laughs> Sorry, huh? say that? His two years course, he made it into three years. <laughs> <laughs> ano um, two year course po? Sa sports science yun, ano? Sports science? Ah, mm. ah so hanggang 2024, meron ka din degree. Wow, oh. we're so excited. Kasi para yung plano mo, um, nandiyo na, hanggang ganda na. And uh, yung gintong medalya, inihintay ka. Hello, <laughs> it's waiting for you in Paris, wow. 2024. Pag-ihirapan po natin yun araw-araw. Yes. Okay. Nice. Maraming yes. salamat so sa iyong dedication. Sa inyong dalawa. And keep Can it up. Uh, Diane and Kinito, we will also open a, 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 a gym in, yeah, I finished that, just saying goodbye. Uh, it open a gym in Caramba Laguna. For oh, the very, okay. Uh, uh, sponsored by the Japanese Embassy. No, oh, another oh. one. Also to, for, to develop young ones. For the young ones. Oh, fantastic. And when, so will, that, when will that start? When will that construction uh, well, start? We're signing the contract uh, on the 8th with Watanabe. And then uh, with the ambassador of Japan and Department of Education and the mayor of Kalamba. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. Okay, is, thank you for that information. That is uh, also pushed by Coach Mooney. Coach Mooney is a Filipino in heart already. He loves it. He Filipino. is, no? Yeah. <laughs> oh. This guy Japanese. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> We're very, we're so happy, we're so happy to be with you again, uh, Kaloy. Um, namimis kana ng bumbayan at kami ni Dayan always. Uh, our heart is always open for you, as well as Cynthia, who is our very dear friend. And thank you for uh, giving us this opportunity para kausapin ka. Uh, alam namin uh, very tight ang schedule mo, but yet palag mo kami pinagbibigyan. Maraming maraming salamat sa you, Kaloy. And Cynthia, thank you so much. Okay, thank you very okay, much to our dear Cynthia Iskaloy. Mabuhay kayo. We love you. Keep working hard. And we look forward to all the goals. Salamat po. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Diane, that was another fun episode. Every time we have an opportunity to talk to a world-class athlete like Kaloy, Yulo is just a wonderful opportunity. Plus, it's always great uh, catching up with uh, Cynthia Carrion, who's been um, very close to us and always gives it an opportunity to have first crack at Kaloyula. Yeah, well, I'm so happy for him that he was finally able to come back to the Philippines. What, what a huge sacrifice, you know. I mean, he's, he's so young, away from his family for almost two years. But you can see he's so determined, he's so focused just to win goals in the SEA Games, the Asian Games, and the coming Olympics. So, mabuhay kaloy. And thank you again, Cynthia. And we hope you enjoyed that episode here on Plate Right TV. I'm Diane Castillejo. This is Kinito Henson. We'll see you next time on Plate Right TV.